The immune system is so incredibly complex and there's so much left to discover that we'll never have all the answers and we'll never fully understand the immune system. And that's really what's so exciting about working in immunology, that we don't have all the answers. A lot of people working on how T cells protect against disease were working on T cells in the blood. And what we started to do was look at T cells in the tissues, the barrier tissues, such as the skin and the intestine. It was a real shift in thinking because for a long time people thought that you know, T cells that are finding in tissues were just passers by, T cells just infiltrating through. So on comparing T cells in the blood versus T cells in tissues, we found that the genes and signals that control the survival of T cells in tissues is different. And we also found that these T cells in tissues were more protective against infection and tumours. So what we've now turned to is looking to develop new immunotherapies that will harness these T cells and their protective capacity against melanoma and also against breast cancer. When we would have treated with Thy 1.1, not here, that's, that's enough. We're also working on the other side of the coin where these T cells can go rogue. And we're doing that in the context of skin autoimmune conditions such as vitiligo, alopecia and psoriasis. There's been a lot of diseases which have been really hard to treat. And there's a lot of global interest now in repurposing resident memory T cells that we study on. And so our dream is that all our basic immunology will drive new therapies against a plethora of diseases, including infection, such as malaria and HIV, autoimmunity, preventing pathology, and also in treating cancer.